In this video, I will cover how to create a new project in my configuration of NeoVim for writing LaTeX documents. So let's open up NeoVim. And instead of opening an old session for an old project, I'm going to create a new project. And to do so, I'm going to begin by navigating to the place I want to create that project directory with the Explorer. And so let's go down to Documents, WASP, Papers. OK, so in Papers, my cursor over Papers, I'm going to hit A, and let's call it Test. So right now, if I just hit Return, it'll create a file called Test. And so I need that backslash in order to create a new directory. And while I'm at it, let's create a new file in that directory called test.tech. Okay, great. So there's my new file. Hit enter, open that up. So instead of writing this LaTeX document from scratch, I'm going to drop a template in with T. And let's use this one, P. Great. So I'm going to save that and do space B to build the document. And so there's my document. Can add a first line if we like. Here is a first line. Okay, and you can see that it's building nicely. All right, so let's say we also want to add a markdown file to keep track of to-dos um, or notes. So I'll do space E to reopen, and I'll do A, and this time I'm not going to create a new directory, I'm just going to call this to-do dot md. So there's my new file. And let's call it to do. Okay, let's create a uh, section for bulleted lists. Okay, and so I can create a list here just with a dash and space. So this is the first and second and so on. Um, if I want, I can indent third, and it will maintain that indent, which is nice. And then if I hit return, having added no content to this fifth line, it will exit me out of the bulleted list. Okay, let's now do checked lists. Okay, so similarly to the bullet, we'll now do a bullet with two open braces with a space and we'll call this first and second and here we'll indent it third fourth and so on okay and what's nice about these check marks or these uh, boxes that we can put check marks in is if I hit X then it will add a tick and once I tick all the subtasks, I can tick that, and so on. And I can also untick them if I want. Um, so this can be just a useful, easy thing to do. Okay, let's now do numbered lists. Okay, and if we do one period with a space, we have a first item, a second item, Okay, and say for the third item, we'd like to indent it. Um, notice it doesn't renumber, um, and it'll just continue my numbering. Um, but say I want to renumber it. Um, so I can do, let's do R for reorder list. Okay, so now you can see it restarts the numbering um, in my indented list, and you know, Here's something new. Um, let's say I want this new item I just added to come second. So with Alt-K, I can drag it up. Um, and now I'd like to renumber my list, so space R. And so now it's correctly numbered. So that's convenient. Um, so those are just a few little note-taking uh, tools um, for your to-do lists or other notes uh, inside markdown files. 
But let's go back to our test and let's say we're reasonably happy with these two files um, and we're ready to save our session. So note that right now we're inside the home folder. So the root of this tree is all the way back in home. And I don't really need that. I would like to have just this directory, this project directory to be at the top of the tree. So to do that, I'm going to run a command with colon and then cd for change directory. And as soon as I do so, notice it shows me which natural options I might move into. So I'm going to go into documents and tab complete that and tab complete that and it's in papers. Okay, and it's in test. Great. So that's where I want to move. So I've run that and now if I reopen the explorer and you can see just my project files. So that's really nice. Um, all right, let's save this session. So I can go space and then M for manage sessions and S for save. And so by default, it's gonna name it after your project directory name. So let's quit out of this and reopen NeoVim and go into sessions. And sure enough, my last session is test. And there we go, we have the two files we created, the project directory only has our documents inside our um, inside our project directory, which is good. And let's quit out of this. And so, yeah, this is a good way to set up your uh, project. So you can easily return to it. Um, your cursor will be in the exact spot that you left it. Um, all the different files will be as you left them. Um, you don't have to sort of sort through where you were in your document to return to work.